Geekery with Dante D YouTube channel. You'll never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. Hello to all of my Star Wars fans, Dante D here, and welcome to the channel where we talk about comic books and other geek stuff. Today, we're going to be doing a review of the Star Wars Old Republic series of novels. Before we get into this video, I just wanted to remind you all to subscribe so you are automatically entered to win one of dozens of comic book, free comic book prizes. Uh, I won't get too much into it now, but the video that explains the giveaway and shows off some of the prizes in the giveaway is in the description if you want to check it out after seeing this video. The Star Wars Old Republic series of novels has four books and I have them here in the order in which they happen chronologically. You actually can read these in any order and you won't be confused, but chronologically speaking, this is how they happen. So you have Revan first, Deceived next, Fatal Alliance, and then Annihilation. These books clearly are based on the Star Wars Old Republic video games. Uh, specifically, they tie in closest with the uh, Old Republic MMO that you can download uh, for free. And I actually just started playing that game, believe it or not. Uh, I read the novels first and then jumped into the game. Now, Revan here ties in more so with the original Knights of the Old Republic video games that came out on Xbox years and years ago. And to this day, those still are some of my favorite games of all time. The only homework that I think you have to do before you get in to these novels is to just play the games that precede these no this uh, novel here. And that is uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic and Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. You can find them both on Steam. They're relatively cheap. Actually, uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, the first one, you actually can download off of the App Store on uh, Apple and uh, you can play it right on your tablet or, or your phone, which I think is amazing. You clearly do not have to play the Old Republic MMO before you get into these novels because, like I just said, I never played the Old Republic MMO. I just played the first two uh, Knights of the Old Republic games. And if you play those first two games, first of all, you won't be disappointed. If you haven't played them, I highly recommend you do because they just have s some of the best Star Wars stories ever told. But if you play just those two games, uh, you will be adequately prepared and well-versed in the lore of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic and the Old Republic uh, to understand what is going on in the Revan novel. I was really happy with the Revan book because it really answered a lot of questions that I had after the Knights of the Old Republic games. When I finished those games, I, I had so many questions about what was gonna happen next. This book here, basically answered everything and showed me what the ultimate fate of Revan was. And it was just, it was a great book, great ending. I loved every second of it. My next favorite book in the series was Deceived. And this is the book here that I believe ties in most with the Old Republic MMO and the storyline that is going on in the uh, Old Republic MMO. It was a pretty good book. I, I really liked it. I, this, the characters in the book were really intriguing. I really became attached to a lot of them. The action sequences were just something else. And I something happens in this book that just kind of blew my mind. Now, the reason why I didn't like this book the best is just because not everything is resolved in this book. You kind of need to play the Old Republic MMO to get your feeling of catharsis, I guess, uh, after reading this book. Because you, you, you read this book, and by the time you get to the end, there are a lot of things that have not been resolved. And you definitely have to play the games in order to get that ultimate resolution. Darth Malgus here was just, he's the villain in the book and he's just awesome. He kind of reminds me of like what Bane would look like if he became a Sith Lord. Uh, and they definitely borrowed heavily from the Darth Vader design, but uh, was still a cool villain nevertheless. The other thing that I found cool about this book, uh, which didn't make or break the reading experience for me, was the fact that there's one scene in this 
book that is depicted perfectly in film format. And it was actually used as a trailer for the Old Republic video game. So after I read this book and I saw this trailer, I'm like, wait a second. That happened in the book. And it, it was... The way, let me tell you, the way it was described in the book was pretty much exactly how it was on screen, and it was just mind-blowing. My next favorite book in the series, which would be my third place spot, is uh, Annihilation. And this book was a little different because it featured a character that is not a Jedi or a Sith. I mean, he has ties to the Force and the Jedi and so on and so forth. But he's not a Jedi himself. He's kind of more like a Han Solo type character, I guess. Uh, and, and that's definitely what they're going for here. But I, I actually think, in a way, he's more badass than Han Solo. Uh, this book kind of reads almost more like a, like a spy novel. Uh, but it still is pretty good. And, and I enjoyed it quite a bit. The uh, the plot line in the book, the reason why it's not doesn't rank higher for me is because the... I find that the plot line is really kind of cliche Star, Star Wars. And by, by cliche Star Wars, I mean, you know, you have this big ultimate machine that uh, the good guys have to destroy and they have to find a way to destroy. And they, they just, they had a lot of uh, Star Wars cliches in here. And, uh, you know, that, that kind of made it stale for me. And, you know, I, reading it, I was like, oh, I feel like I've read this before. But um, there were some qualities and some parts in the book that made it worth reading for me but uh overall again not my favorite in the series my last favorite book in the series clearly is uh fatal alliance oh boy where do i start with this book i have to say this book really started off good for me the author had me really really intrigued for the first i would say 90 to 100 pages or so uh, basically, the book is set up where this influential hut who lives on the planet of Narshada finds this item that has unknown origins. And he decides that he is going to auction off this item to the highest bidder. And it happens that both the Jedi and the Sith are interested in this item and are going to be bidding for it. I, th I honestly thought, I, when I was reading this, this it was really cool. I, I was really intrigued. But I have to say, once you find out what this item is, what the nature of the item is, you're kind of like, eh, and it was just all downhill from there. I have to say, the, the, the characters in this book were so forgettable. Uh, there are two characters that I, I feel were kind of cool in this book. Uh, and, and those were... Uh, the one guy was, I forget his name now, but he was a, um, he worked for the Sith, but he was undercover uh, working as a Republic official or working as an assistant to a Republic official. I think he was the Republic Minister of Defense or something like that. Uh, he was kind of interesting because he's not exactly what you would think. That This character um, actually was good and he cares uh about the well-being of people he actually did not embody what you would picture uh, a, a sith to be but um really really interesting character um they, that that was the only one like there are a lot of different povs in this book and that was the only pov that i actually found interesting to read the other character that i found really kind of interesting was satil sean and uh before you ask yes she is uh, a descendant of uh, Revan and, and, and Bastila Sean. But uh, she was a cool character for me, but she barely appears in the book. So at the end of the day, I was left with a novel that had, for the most part, really dry characters and uh, a storyline that just kind of got worse as it progressed. I think the biggest mistake that they made with this series was using different authors as you can see revan was written by uh drew Carp carpetian uh deceived was by paul s kemp fatal alliance by sean williams and then they bring drew carpetian back for annihilation now uh, 
if you recognize the name Drew Carpetian, that is because he actually worked as a writer on the Old Republic video games. And I think of all the authors that have worked on this series, he stands out the most. Overall, I'd have to say as a Star Wars writer, he is great. He wrote not only uh, some books in the Old Republic series, but he also wrote the beloved Darth Bane series, which I'm reading right now. I totally, totally love and uh, plan to do a review on once I finish the whole series. The other problem I had with this series is that overall, these stories kind of seem to me like filler stories, like extra added bonuses to the events that happen in the Old Republic video games. I think the only novel in this series that is absolutely essential is the Revan novel. And that is essential for any fan of the Old Republic series of games or any fan of Star Wars in general. Like this is just a really outstanding book. But all these other ones, they kind of tell filler stories. Like nothing really gets resolved. You actually have to play the Old Republic video game to know what happens ultimately in this like long drawn out war between the Sith and the Jedi Order. That to me definitely was a mistake. This Old Republic series of novels easily could have been a seven to 10 volume series that novelized even some, some uh, portions and story aspects that appear in the game. I mean, heck, you can novelize movies, but you can't novelize the events that happen in a game. I mean, I, I totally think that a person should be able to read a series of novel that ties in with a video game and know the ultimate resolution to the main conflict in the, the story. I kind of find it sucky now that I have to play the video game in order to get the full story and to know what ultimately happens. I mean, even if that was revealed in the series of novels, I probably still would have gone to play the game anyway. These novels here to me just ex exist as extras. They are just suggested reading, not essential reading. That being said, I don't want to steer you away from these books. I mean, most of them are pretty good. Uh, if there are any books in the series that you are going to skip, I would for sure say Skip Fatal Alliance. These two here are pretty good. Again, I like I like Deceived better than I liked Annihilation. Annihilation is one of those that you, you could skip to and it wouldn't be a huge deal, but it's definitely a great read. I don't want to steer you away from this one at all. It's, it's actually very good. Uh, Deceived, again, is just a lot of fun. Really, really enjoyed the story. But if there's only one book, one book from the series that you choose to read, you definitely have to read Revan. And this is not essential reading just for this series. It is essential Star Wars reading. Any Star Wars fan should pick this up. I don't care if it's Legends. But like I said, Revan is now considered canon because Disney did canonize Revan. And if you want my overall grade on these books, I definitely would have to give Revan an A, Deceived a B minus, Fatal Alliance, a C minus, and Annihilation, a B. If you're interested in any of these books here today, they are still in print, and I've provided you with Amazon links, which you can find in the description. If there are any of you out there that have read these books, I would really love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments what you thought of them. Again, overall, as a series, kind of was hit or miss for me, but it definitely had its moments for me. So that about does it for our video today. Really, really hope that you enjoyed it. We will be back with more reviews. Like I said, I'm doing tons of reading, both comic book reading, Star Wars reading, novels, you name it. I have a lot of time right now that um, I'm spending reading. So there are definitely more reviews to come. And I will see you all in the next episode.